You want to talk about the no. things that happened to break up the family Bro. project? This is exactly what Bro. happened. No, it's not. You it's just got us kicked Bro. out. So I just got back from Miami. Um, you know, and uh, Natalie's brother, you know, called me. You know, he said he wants to talk to me. And if you guys do know or don't know, pretty much I released a video expressing how upset I was about a video he decided to release knowing that I was super upset. And you know, and we hadn't talked about it after and you know, him not reaching out to me. So I'm back from Miami and you know, he wants to talk to me. Of course, things shouldn't have escalated and got to the internet. And Natalie, of course, stuck in between all of this is, you know, going through a lot. And, you know, regardless of how we act on camera, and she might seem happy, but throughout the years, Natalie has been going through it. And the relationship between me and her brother has been affecting her mental health. Okay. And that's how deep this is. And I definitely, you know, want to just sit here and say, first and foremost, you guys going and bashing um, Josh's family. I would never, ever, ever, ever make anything intentionally to say, go bash your family. If I got a problem with you specifically, that's like, I got, I got a problem with how I handle it. Yeah, I could have handled it better, but I'm not sending, and I don't want you to think or him to think that I'm sending my dogs or sending my fans or my subscribers to go bash him and his family. So I'm asking you guys to not do that. And I apologize on my end for that even happening because the, the family has nothing to do with it. It's the issue is between me and him. So with that being said, you know, I'm going to go have that conversation with him for the sake of Natalie. You know what I'm saying? Just like I come to the movie nights for the sake of Natalie. Because I came to Christmas for Natalie. I'm going to have this conversation yet again for Natalie. Because a lot of the things I do and I've done with you personally or as a group thing, it was for the sake of Natalie. You know what I'm saying? So going over there, I hope, I pray that you don't have that same energy in that video. Because a lot of things that you were saying was very untrue about me. You know what I'm saying? You literally called me a liar. So for you to call me a liar and call me self-centered and all this other stuff, I hope that that energy is different. 90% of the love that I've shown you and your family is the furthest thing from selfish. So for somebody that actually knew me and got to experience a lot of that love, it's just hard to hear. I'm putting up a front for a camera. Like I'm over the top for a camera. But 99% of my friends and my family can say, this is just who I am. Camera on, camera off. That, that's why your sister was so attracted to me. That's why your whole family was attracted to me. But we all gravitated towards each other because of how outgoing, how energetic, how, how I am as a person. Hell, YouTubers that I meet think that I'm over the top without a camera being like in their face, without me holding the camera like, yo, I'm like, yo, what up? I watch your videos. Oh my God, I'm always over the top. That's just how I've been my whole life. For you to say that, that I'm just like that for the camera, that's inaccurate, bro. And I'm not a liar. And you saying that I, me losing my shit, this is regular for you? Of course, for you, from your perspective. I lived with you guys for about a year. And it wasn't like technically lived. It was, I was always over there. But we all considered me living there. So of course, you're going to see sides of me that I'm comfortable with around you. You're going to see me argue. We're going to get into arguments. Just because you've seen that side as family would does not mean that I lose my shit all the time, bro. That's not normal. What are you talking about? So so for you to say all of that is just like, wow. I don't, I don't know what else you can say when I come to talk to you, bro. But just hearing that alone is just like, wow. But you know that the conversation that we have had, it was literally a conversation that obviously wasn't good enough for us to even be friends. We're just kind of at this point dealing with each other, tolerating each other, you know? Of course, to deal or tolerate with somebody, you have to have a conversation. You know what conversation I'm talking about. That's why I lost my shit when it came to that prank because some of the stuff that you were saying bothered me and triggered me. And for y'all to understand why I lash out or sometimes I'll tweet some stuff because y'all don't know everything that goes on. So the stuff that I've been dealing with emotionally behind closed doors and the slick shots that are public, one person can only take so much after years. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying it's right to run the social media, but damn, bro. I've seen some stuff that you post on social media where it's like, damn, bro, okay. An actual prank that I'm actually in where you actually see how upset I am? Come on, bro. It shouldn't have made it to the internet. And that's why I reacted the way I did on the internet. And it's, it, Natalie crying is has a lot to do with us not getting along and the, the stuff that y'all don't see off camera that has happened. 
you know, we stopped being friends for an argument that got hella deep. But the mental state of my girlfriend right now is very important to me and it's not just because of me. So I'm gonna go ahead over to his house right now and we're gonna have a conversation. And before I go over there, like I said, I want you guys to not bash anybody. These videos aren't to bash anybody and I've never told any of my supporters to bash anybody. But I'm telling you guys, y'all don't have to bash anybody. So I'm gonna have this conversation with you, bro, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Camera up, bro. Stop. Stop. Listen bro. To me. Stop Listen. fucking talking Hold to me like that, bro. Down. Bro, all right, okay. bro. All right, sit down. This is an apartment, bro. bro. All right, bro. Like, sit you down. You said you want to conversation, like, bro. This, you want to talk about the bro. things that happened to break up the family bro. project? This is exactly bro. what happened. No, it's not. You almost got us kicked bro. out. Bro. I almost got us kicked out, bro. Because is this, you can't shut your mouth. Bro, is this not my video or not? Are we going to do it like like we said we was going to do it? All right, all right. All right. So for y'all, like, like, okay. So to break it down, pretty much, obviously, I came over here to talk. You know, we said that we were going to make sure he talks and I talk. And how this conversation has been going, obviously, it's not working like that, okay? So now that I have because my camera set up. You want to talk shit in my bro, video. Bro, you literally want to talk I didn't shit talk in my shit. video. You and now you're acting, me fake, now bro. You're trying to act all bro, cool. I'm not acting cool. I'm not acting cool. You're trying I'm not, to act cool right bro. now. Y'all can go watch the video, bro. You literally calling me fake, bro. Talking okay. about my shit ain't genuine with your okay. sister, bro. Okay. So pretty much what's going on, I'm here at Josh's house. This is Natalie's brother. And, you know, obviously there's been some drama going on. Okay, so we're having this conversation like two grown adults. And this is my side of the video. You said you had what you had to say on your camera on your channel. Now this is what I have to say. All right, go ahead. So pretty much the stuff that we've been going through, I've already I already said what I said online, but I can say it to your face. You dropping that prank? I already told you when I was there, and you could tell how I felt about everything that was going on, everything that you were saying to your homeboy on the phone that you was talking I wasn't even talking to bro. nobody. Okay, what I'm saying That's though is okay, but what I'm saying is that you obviously triggered something for me, bro, and I felt something. The moment I came in the house and you realized, okay, easy, it's, it, she's not taking this joke lightly. Put the freaking camera down, bro. What do you put think the camera I did? down. I talk didn't to me. put the camera talk down. To, but did you talk to me or you were laughing? Did, laughing? did you run? Bro, bro did you no, try to stay in time? You left. Bro, can I you talk to my quickly. camera? Can I talk right? to my camera? Bro, you right. already talked, bro. I tried to talk to you. Bro, you, you had your gone. peace, bro. You had your peace. It's my time to talk, bro. So all of this drama that we've been, you know, dealing with for the past, what, two years? Um, y'all already know I started with the family project and now we we separate. We separated due to a specific argument that me and Josh had which literally left us to not be friends anymore. We were not friends after that conversation. I talked to you, you didn't talk to me for months because the shit that was said, some of the stuff that you were saying in that prank literally was some of the stuff that you said that day. Exactly, okay? but it's so, all stuff I've so, said to people before. No, bro, It's all stuff ain't, people said to me. We ain't had that conversation. Have, have anyone ever called you egotistical? Bro, we're okay? not on that level, bro. So pretty much to break it down, you were asking, oh, why, were you, why did you come to Christmas? You fake, you should have da 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 First and foremost, I came to Christmas because I put my ego aside. I told you guys that already. I told everybody that. I told Natalie that, you know what? Let me make sure I'm gonna put my pride aside. We're gonna have a good day. Not be like What do you think I did by inviting you? Just okay, exactly. What do you think I did by inviting you to Christmas? Bro, let me talk. Let me talk. Regardless of the drama that me and you have, regardless of the shit that we've been going through for the past two years, I'm going to make sure Christmas is a fun day. It's about giving. It's about spreading love. You seen how positive, happy I was of being around your kids, around your girl, around Isaiah, everybody. Okay, that was genuine, bro. I did it Yo, for your you sister. Yell the I whole did time, bro? Okay, I did it for your sister, bro. I did it for your sister, and it was real mm -hmm. feelings. And, and and I thought, and I thought that that was our progress video. You know what I'm saying? That was our progress yeah. moment. It you know was. what I'm saying? It was. So so for us to grow and for us to all right, you know what? Let's put the bull aside, bro. So you want to wait till next Christmas no, for no, another no, no, progress no, no, video? No, no, no. What I want to do is not take this video no, against no, bro. me. I just don't want to take step back. Bro, that's what you did when you did that oh, that's prank. That's what I did. You shouldn't have put that so, shit so, out, bro. So you shouldn't you have put it out, bro. What did you, I already explained how that went out. Said, okay, All it right? doesn't matter. You well, So you thought, you know what? F her feelings. It's already out to the editor, even though she ran off or whatever. You think, okay, well, she that's knows how pranks no, go. Okay. That's how it goes. Okay. No, you know how, bro. No, but you know how pranks go. Bro. A lot of times someone will be in their feelings, but okay, it's a prank. Bro. That's what we signed up for. And okay. I told you that already. Okay, so when when you, you prank Zasha or when you do something to Isaiah, after you, you reveal, oh, it's a prank, it's a prank, or whatever, do you not console them? Do you not comfort them? Do you not talk to them? Like, all right, no, you know that you we didn't talk at all. No, bro. we didn't. We didn't talk we at didn't all. And that goes, you did. Bro, because you left to Miami. Bro, you can't, I'm a phone call away. You Miami. was quick to call me today. You was quick to call me today. Bro, look, 
let's just get down to it. How you feel about me and, and the things that you say, and I feel like from my perspective, like you're causing so much pain and drama in me and Natalie's life. Bro, do you think she's happy? Do you really think she's happy with this, bro? The fact that her brother and her girlfriend don't get along? Like the stuff that you were saying to Natalie, like you making it seem like you don't want her to be with me, bro. I don't you, I want her to be happy. And, and she that, is happy. And if that's not with you, then Bruh. then cool. Bruh. If that is with you, cool. Were you, but either way, Bruh. I want her to be happy. Bro, where have you been since we got together, bro? Since we were best friends, since mean, we left the family project, bro? Life? For 20 plus years. And she's the happiest she's years. ever been with me, oh, bro. Oh, that's what you think. No, she I know. not there before. Bro. Why? Because that's what she says to bro. you? Because that's what she tells bro, you? I swear to God, bro. I've been I'm there. dating her, I've bro. Been I'm there. with her. I hear you, been, bro. Okay, I'm telling I've you. Been so there. the fact that you had this whole conversation with your sister, bro, how you look and how I'm seeing it, bro, it's like, damn, she can't even be happy. What do you think she's been doing for 365 days, bro? What do you think she's been doing? Uh, uh, stuck under a rock crying? No, bro, she's happy. She's happy. So the only thing that she's not happy about is us not getting along, okay? That's the only thing she's not happy so, about. So, so, so don't try to sit here and make it seem like it's me. You see how I'm calm right now? Okay, be, okay, let me, what? Let me ask what? you a question just real quick. I know this is your video, right? But can I ask you something? Okay, what? If, if you really care, right, about my sister's feelings, then you really want things to be better, why would you put that video out? That sure. first video talking about why I don't like him. Right, because I'm used to you, you know, on Twitter, sending right. cryptic little things on your Instagram stories about me in your in your comments. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to all that. Cause I be no I see all that. Alright? Okay. But so, why did you take it a step further if you really care because, about my sister? Bro, I'm tired. I'm tired of the bullshit, bro. Tired of so it. So you thought that this would be less bullshit. Bro, like, I, I don't about. even know. I didn't even know what I was gonna do after that, bro. I'm tired of this shit. Oh, I'm tired, that, that bro. That was my problem, bro. Because you threw my sister under the bus. I didn't throw her under the bus. You bro, don't I'm know talking if you about can you. be with her. Bro. You literally said you don't know if you can be with bro. her. Bro, bro, you, you don't. don't you you her. know how hard it is bro. to deal with somebody that's literally out to freaking. Bro, you don't want us to work out, bro. You don't want us. Obviously, what you said to your sister. You don't. She's happy, bro. She's already happy. Why are you telling her like you don't? Have you talked to her? Yeah. Was it me or was it you? It was both of us. Clearly, yes. I'm the one that sparked it. I'm the one that said something about what you did. Mm -hmm. I, I said something because the subliminal shit that you did, literally on the phone, you could have been like, oh, easy, some comedic stuff, bro. You were saying the same stuff. You were saying that night, bro. I said, I said bro. comedic stuff. You know what you I said, said, bro. Oh, you're being You know what you said. What triggered comedic. me, bro. It was you all know comedic. what triggered me, bro. What triggered you? Bro, you know what triggered me, Because you're sensitive. Bro. bro, I swear to God, bro. Because you you're really sensitive. Good. Regardless if you want to call me sensitive or not, obviously there's something still bothering me. So the fact that you put that video out, bro, it, should, it shouldn't even have been nothing. It should have been a conversation whether I went to Miami or not. Talk to me. Period. Obviously we got shit to hash out. Obviously so, so, there's still so, some tension between us. let me ask you a question. Us. You don't what? think it's hypocritical then. You say, talk to me. But you said everything you had to say to a camera, right. but you didn't talk to me. No, bro. You no, wouldn't put it out there to the to world me. to see. You already what do put you it mean? out there. Why bro? wouldn't you just come to me directly? No. All right, instead of making the damn video. It doesn't matter. Right. You posted the what video, bro. We were best friends, bro. What were we that? not best friends? Were we not best friends, bro? Yes, we were best friends. Were we friends. not? Yes, were, we we were, not like, friends. were we not close, bro? Yes, we were Obviously, friends. I felt something, bro. Obviously, I felt something. I still feel something. It's the shit that we had to deal with for freaking two years, bro. We were close as hell. God damn, bro. Obviously. And the fact that we gotta go through this shit and your sister crying, bro. Obviously, I still feel hurt. Obviously, I still feel something. What are you talking about? It's clear. I'm as clear as day, bro. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Period. Period, bro. Like, this shit is bullshit, bro. I swear to God, man. The reason why it's been so long is because no matter what, at the end of the day, yeah, we care. We Obviously, care. I care, bro. We care and we cared about each other a lot. And, um, you know, and it makes it makes it much more difficult, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for us to get over everything. Things that we said to each other in the past, things that we just said now, everything cuts deeper. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, Obviously, you know, we're both to blame and it's really because of how much you know, how much we both care about each other and how much we both have cared in the past and it's like that doesn't just go away easy. You know what I'm saying? Like the way 
the way that I care about you just doesn't go away. Bro, you care, bro. You don't care now, bro. Obviously, I'm hurt, bro. You, you see what I of said, course, bro. I know. You know of that we were, I like, care. close as fuck, bro. I, of course I care. No, you don't, bro. You no, you don't, about? bro. Two you years, talk? we barely talk, man. We right, barely right, talk. Right, and now right, you talking about your down, sister, bro. Right, like, you don't, down, you know that easy, I love your sister. Easy, you know I'm in love with your sister, bro. Calm down. Calm down. I get it. I know you love her, all right? But you understand my loyalty doesn't lie to you. It doesn't lie to your relationship. It lies to my sister. All right? Now, I do care about you. No, you, you don't. Yes, I do. What are you Cat. talking about? If if I could choose, I would love to have you date my sister without all the BS. Now, you want to blame me for it? I blame you for it. Let's just say it's in the middle. But either way, I care about you. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think I invited you to come over, bro? Because I missed you. Okay? That's why. If there was no other reason, if you can't, because you can't come up with another reason, because I've been ghost and you've been ghost for like damn near two years. I invited you over because I missed you. I wanted to chill with you. All right. And I figured Christmas was a good time to do it. Now, did I take things too far? Maybe prank you too early because I didn't know how those things would really still trigger you? Then yes, maybe I didn't think that through. But that doesn't mean I don't care, bruh. You understand? Like, that don't mean I don't care. I invited you because I missed you. I did that prank because I wanted to see your face at the end when you're laughing, when you're happy. Okay? You should have just said that, bro. What do you like, mean? I was trying to tell you it was a prank. Me, bro. But, you could have just no, talked to me, bro. You have to understand. You came in that door and I was smiling, right? Now, you thought I was smiling because I was just trying to, like, egg you on. I was smiling because I'm like, yo, God, what's up? It's a prank. Do you get what I'm saying? I do care about you. And the same way you feel it, I feel the same thing. Okay? I feel like how does someone how does someone care about me that's gonna drag me publicly? You know I haven't said nothing about you on Twitter. You feel me? Why? Because I care. Now to see someone that supposedly cares about me looked at me like their own brother, man, I can say the same thing that you're saying right now. That this is just a person that don't give a damn about me. Look, bro. <clears throat> Obviously, um uh, hold on. Um, you know, it's it's just been a lot of hurt, bro. Like, uh, for years, you know. I just, you know, you, you like my my big brother. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like the shit that we've been going through. It it hurts me. It hurt me so bad. So like, you know, when when Christmas actually happened, like I said, like that was genuine you was, for you me. You turned up. <laughs> you were turned up on Christmas. Like, yeah, like, bruh, it was, I was, and it was, that was pure, like, damn, like, imagine if we didn't fall out, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, that was the feeling that I, I I prepared myself with, like, you know what, all right, it's Christmas, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna go in there, like, nothing ever happened, and that's what I was feeling, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, to, to be reminded in that prank video that you did to me, it was just like, well, damn, like all that shit just start happening. The feelings, every emotion, everything that happened that night. Why we weren't cool? Why I stopped doing the family project? Why I just was done? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it just like triggered that emotion. So it's just like, bro, I've been hurt for two years, bro. We were like but you, you close, ain't, bro. You ain't been the only one in that boat though, man. You know, it's like we, we definitely, one of the things my sister says, that really pisses me off when I'm upset with you is that we're alike. You know what I'm saying? You say that shit all the time. Like, it pisses me off, especially like if I'm mad at you, so I'm like, nah, like I ain't like her, da, da, da. But you know, deep down, I feel like we both know that we're more similar than not. So, you know, to hear an apology, to hear I'm sorry is uh, is one thing, but to say it is a whole nother, but I am sorry for everything. You know, I definitely, um, didn't didn't want things to go to this level like where it is. Um, I didn't want to hurt you the way that I did. Shit, I hurt myself. You know what I'm saying? I hurt my sister. Um, you know that takes a lot for me to say, but it's true. I don't know how many times I've heard you say I'm sorry. You know, um, zero. So no, it's like it's, I you know, feel like. I really appreciate that and I feel like you know it sucks that it had to come through like this you know what I'm saying um being blown out on social media um but 
I appreciate it, you know. I really it really means a lot because I do love you and I do have love for you and your family, everybody. You know what I'm saying? So to hear you say those things it just broke me, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't know how to react but anger. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I just feel like the way I went about it was just disrespectful, it was rude, it was childish. Um, you know. And I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have did that at all and I should have just been woman enough to talk to you. If I was woman enough to pick up the camera, I should have just been woman enough to just look, bro, I please like the simply you were saying it really hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I apologize for that. I apologize, you know, everything that I even said that night, you know, when what led to us to even be here. Yeah. You know I love you, right? Yeah, man. No, I really do. You know, I love you like you're my brother, bro. Bro, you my ugly bro. <laughs>